Hey everybody, today is Saturday, November 12th, 2022 in San Diego, California, and I'm Captain Perry here with you. If you're new to the channel, behind me here is a scow bow mini cruiser that I'm building. Basically, my mission here is to build a strong, trailerable, 14-foot sailboat that's watertight and custom-built to cross oceans. Now, in this video, I'm picking up the day after where the last video left off. What I got done in the last video is to build the starboard chine panel of the boat and then attach it with thickened epoxy. I also managed to tab it on with fiberglass from the transom up to frame C5. And what I'm going to do from this point on is continue tabbing it on from frame C5 forward to frame C4, C3, C2, etc. And what I'll do is between each frame there's uh, also a space of the panel that needs to be fiberglassed. So I'm just going to treat between each frames as one day's work and day by day go from stern to bow tapping it on and fiberglassing the exposed foam between each frame. All right, time to get to work. I think a smart move I've made is to cut a duplicate fiberglass piece for every piece I cut for the starboard chine. That way everything is prepped when I go to attach the port side chine. I carefully label these sets and place them in a plastic bag The bag also gets a masking tape label. This one contains everything I need to fiberglass between frames C4 and C4.5. I always figure it's good to help out your future self anytime you can. Here's frame C5 to C4.5. That work went quick. Then I moved on to frame C4.5 to C4. Set up some good lighting. And then I added fillets where the frames meet the chine and smushed thickened epoxy into the seam where the chine meets the bottom panel. Three hours later, I added the 1708 fiberglass. Now for frame C4 to C3. I'll show you this one in better detail. These are the keel support beams, which I built out of oak way back in episodes 7 and 8. I'm giving each one an extra square of 1708, both under the beam, where it rests on the chine, and over the beam. I've used all kinds of tools for this work, the squeegees, spin rollers, but I still think using your hands and a good old chip brush is my favorite. Now I'm going to add a 12 centimeter wide strip of 1708 across where the chine meets the bottom panel and then where it meets the two frames as well. And last of all, she'll get a big piece of 1708 to cover the remaining bare foam and all the previous tabbing work.
Okay, I've added all the fillets and thickened epoxy I need. And I've reapplied the masking tape here. Now I'm ready to add 1708 over all this exposed foam. There's the fiberglassing in the bow done. I think I can call the starboard chine officially attached. It feels good to have the chine all attached now. That was a very challenging one. I've got to clean it up some and do some sanding, but for the most part it's done. Next I need to build the bottom of frame C3.5 and install it on the starboard side over the new chine, right along here. Then I'll get to work on the port chine. A big thank you to my viewer Jim Grant who sent in the beautiful guitar music for this episode. And also to Matt who sent in the sanding blocks from the Amazon wish list. And Greg and Dana for sending in the SOS distress light from that list. If you'd like to contribute to the project by buying something off the Amazon wish list, the link is in the description, as well as other links to help out. Also a big thank you to my patrons. Patreon members get access to videos a full day in advance, along with some other perks. If you like the video, share it with your friends, hit the like button, leave a comment, and most of all, make sure you're subscribed. All right, guys, I will see you in the next one. Well, now let's make all preparations for getting underway. Hey, yeah. Uh, what's your name? Oh. Oh, get back to your station, or I'll have you